What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Uh, we're pulling up for round two on my baby. You know, we gotta say bye to her. I believe they got all the wheels off now and, and uh, you know, all my other parts off the car. Uh, exhaust, and performance exhaust. If anybody's looking for and performance exhaust, I got it. And uh, everything else is already spoken for, down pipes and my springs. And, um, and, oh man, I haven't seen this thing in a while. Oh, they didn't do my springs yet. The car is still sitting low. I got stock, stock wheels on there. Oh man. Jeez. Well, I got to get my wheels at least. Looks like I'll be making another trip. This guy didn't take my doesn't look like he took my springs off so let's uh we're gonna have to go around here i gotta go in this little garage get the boxes for my uh, aftermarket wheels hopefully they have them in there i gotta go see miguel so uh i'll be back because i gotta drive around this tight little parking lot here and this is this pretty tight parking lot park cars parked all over the place look at this but we might visit next door at lambo see if they got anything exciting so uh, uh stay tuned i'll be back all right so we're back we found where the exhaust is, even though it's not on the car. Uh, I asked to get the rear diffuser off. And instead of the rear diffuser, he took, <laughs> well, whatever. He took the, uh, he took the spoiler off. I don't know if you guys can see it. So that kind of sucked. So we got to get in this trunk. Let's see if we can get out boys and girls and pop this trunk. Boom. There it is. Gotta get that exhaust out of there. Exhaust, downpipes, intakes. That's all we need, it's filthy, but we'll get it out. So I guess we ran into a little bit of a problem on the springs, huh? He said there was like an issue with, uh, they were kind of stuck in there or something. There was, he thinks that he would have bent them, so he just left them. Jesse, I'm sorry, I think I might not be able to sell you these springs, buddy because uh, I'm not sure he can get them off. So we'll see what happens. What's going on, young man? Oh, Gotta say bye to my baby. Uh, well, hi. Gotta say bye to her. What happened? Engine. What an engine in it. <laughs> Insurance didn't want to pay for it, or else I would've. <laughs> so we gotta say bye to her. Oh, so I mean, I have this, guys. Somebody want a spoiler? I saw this too. A little carbon fiber lip spoiler. Let me get this stuff in the uh, X3 so I can take it home. So I got the stuff in here. It seems to fit in the back of the X3 a lot better than it does in my car. What's up, brother? Huh? Yeah, man. I got I got to turn her in. She got she got totaled. One of the boys I used to work with, one of the detail guys. A good guy right there. That's a good guy right there. But yeah, I gotta say bye. Yeah, he ripped this thing off, but uh, I'm glad it wasn't screwed on. I thought it had bolts in it too, so it was just it just adhered on. So I got a spoiler. Spoiler alert. But I did want to get this rear diffuser on. I had somebody who, who wanted that rear diffuser right there, but I uh, guess they're not getting it, so somebody's gonna get the exhaust. A few people already want it, so. The bidding is on, guys. The bidding war for the exhaust is on. So, let me close this down. Let's close that door. Let's get parked back up front and see if we can, uh, we can figure the rest out. Hopefully I can get those springs and he can get them off and it doesn't give him an issue, so. Check out what pulled up next to me, huh? This thing's pretty sweet. Little redone vintage roadster here. It's got a little VW uh, motor in the back. Got about 200 horsepower. It's a lot more than the originals. They only had about 90 horsepower. This thing's beautiful, man. Beautiful. It's a lot nicer than my my X3 loaner I got. But I don't know about some of this inventory here. Huh. We got some nice stuff here. 
Look at that yellow. Let's zoom in. Guys, how about the Countach, huh? That's some bird crap on the windshield. Oh no, that's a uh, like tape. Wow, look at this thing. <laughs> I used to have one of these uh, hanging on my wall when I was a little boy. The Countach, huh? That's pretty badass right there. Got a couple of nice things sitting over here, man. The Urus. Those things are so nasty. This little Gallardo spider. Little black Aventador. It's an S. Look at the 458. Looking sexy. Nice little Aston. This is a Vantage. Is that what that is? It's a Vantage, right? A E63. I think this is somebody's car right here. That thing's pretty sweet. It's got the Bentley. And another little Bentley over here too. Looking good. Nice Gallardo. Another 458 in white. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's see if we visit my boy Rusdy over here at the uh, Range Rover Lexus dealership. Uh, oh man, did they finish all these renovations? Oh, I ain't been over here since they finished this. Oh man, let's see if we check this out. He's over here at the uh, Jaguar section, I think. Oh man, look at this. Oh, they got some nice cars over here. They got some nice ones over here. They keep they keep the lot stacked. Let's see if we let's see if we can find them. Oh look, boys and girls, they have an AMG GTS. You guys know that this is on the list right here, but I think that's a sold unit. Let's see if we can check it out either way. Well, my boy Rougey wasn't there. He did, at least he didn't answer the phone. Didn't reply to my text, man. I was gonna say hi to you, buddy, but let's see what you guys had on the inventory lot there. You know, my options are wide open now, boys and girls. Wide open here. You know, that uh, AMG GT option is definitely on the table. I do like those. Those are so pretty. My boy Fernando's got one. I love his. He's got the GTR, as I said before. That's a bit out the price range. More than I'm looking to spend. Those are still up there, 150 or better, if not more. So we won't be sticking at that. I'd love to have the GTC as well, which I've learned that the GTC and GTR are very similar outside of the aero and a little bit more horsepower, I think, out of the GTR. Uh, you guys can roast me in the comments if you think I'm totally wrong, but the GTC, excuse me, GTC still has the wider rear track like the GTR. The GT and the GTS have the uh, narrower rear end than the other two. So, and it was only, I think, 505 horse in the GTS and then four, 90 or some 80 something I think in the uh, in the regular GT which is all plenty of horsepower obviously I think they're like a 3.60 to 60 car um, I, I also read I think because of the, maybe because of the aero uh, the GTS doesn't have all that aero so I think it has like a higher top speed than the other two which I most likely will never reach because I don't uh, I don't think I'll be doing 200 miles an hour I, but you never know I could go to an airstrip event one day where I can go uh, 200 plus top end. But either way, we're going to have to go shopping. And I'm going to have to take you guys with me. So now we got to do car shopping options. Uh, I got to put all this stuff away, get this to the house. Put that stuff, hopefully we can sell off everything. Uh, most of it's already sold. Um, so downpipes, intakes, spoken for. Uh, well, my springs were spoken for, so hopefully he can still somehow get those off. Um, uh, he said he was having an issue getting them off, but uh, got my wheels off. You guys shopping for wheels? Got a set of wheels. Probably gonna lower that price a little bit. Uh, so definitely give me an offer if you're looking for a set of wheels. The specs are identical to the comp wheel specs. Identical to the comp wheel specs. So they're the 20s, 10 inch in the rear, nine in the front. Same offset as the stock wheels, same, everything's the same as the uh, stock comp wheels on the uh, F8082, so they'll fit fine. And if you need spacers, just get yourself some spacers if you want it to be a little wider. I just had the stock tires, I swapped them from the stock wheels onto that, those those uh, wheels that I had, so 
I wasn't really looking to put any other wheels on or tires rather so I didn't want to get any wider ones because then I would have to got different uh, tires and I just didn't feel like doing that because I knew eventually I was going to turn that car in at the end of lease even though I was debating buying it uh, obviously I can't buy it now because it's a total loss the engine is no good good anymore so help me out guys comment below what you think Throw me some options, what you think's good out there, what you think I should shoot for. Uh, obviously budget is not, you know, I ain't a strad man. I am not uh, daily driven exotics. I'm not TJ Hunt. I am not Cletus McFarland. I can't just go buy whatever I want, guys. I have a budget. I work every day just like the rest of you. I am not rich by any means, so. You know, unless you guys share the channel, hopefully you can help me out. Share, subscribe, and I will definitely get something that you suggest uh, in the comments below. So uh, you make sure you share with everybody you know and get them to subscribe and watch the video. And hopefully my uh, channel can grow drastically to help me get a new car for the channel. Because I absolutely have no car now. This loaner is going to have to go back real soon. Um, I'm assuming probably in a couple days and uh, I don't even know what I'm going to drive <laughs> back and forth to work so uh, we're going to have to figure that out so anyway guys I appreciate appreciate you uh, stay tuned don't forget to comment don't forget to like don't forget to, forget to subscribe and especially share with everyone to help me grow and so I can really get a new car for the channel uh, I'll see you guys on the next one uh,